Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. Right, the video today is on this uh, 2009 Mercedes ML320. And what, I'm, what, what I want to show you is that, um, or what I want to take you through is how to code um, the rear SEM on this particular car. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description below of this video um, about for the video with the problem with this car. So you'll see that long story short the problem was the rear sam uh, attempted to repair it it didn't went well so anyway um i've um, i've messed so i was not to record the coding and i mentioned that on the other video um i was to then things for reason that doesn't really matter uh, i ended up not recording it but then i just thought in a second i have the old module so i can take you through the coding uh, and um, and at least show you roughly how it's done. So what I've done just before these guys is I went onto the module and I messed the coding in there. So I've changed completely the coding in there. Um, another thing I want to say is because on the new module uh, it showed me options to code that would not show me on the old module. Uh, the new module is a Q3 module. Uh, the the new module the old module was a q2 and the new module for example gave me options for those windows in there electric to be electric uh, the the module i'm going to take you through now is not going to show that option to code <coughs> and it's basically as you can because you're going to be able to see i have the new module uh there on the side and i have the old module plugged in okay um and um and purely for the video guys, so I'm going through all this trouble just purely to show you how to code the module. So the first thing we're going to do is turn the key on. Uh, battery charger is there in place. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is start to go through this. So we're going to go to control module first. We're going to do it using the Maxi Sys. Um, actually, we need to go back again programming 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 and coding obviously guys if you do have access uh, communications with your old module you can always just go into the module itself and just copy or back up the code of the module and then write it back on to the new module and that should be good to go uh, just remember that okay Okay, once it's loaded, we're going to go to Control Module Programming. Okay. Press OK. And what I want to do, you can do this um, uh, automatically, but I do believe you need access to the internet for this. Uh, not access to the internet. You need to have a valid subscription. At the moment, my uh, MS908 is the subscription is expired so it will not allow me to do that so we're gonna to have to do it manually and what it's going to do now is going to go through uh, loads of options that you can code present not present different type of stuff and you need to know these about your car i'm going to take you through on this particular car guys is is, is a uk version normal ml uh, 320 uh, it's nothing special about other than the electric boot uh, or hydraulic uh, boot uh, that's about it really there's nothing special about this it's quite standard version uh, so yeah that's about it so we're gonna learn it to create the memory there it is I'll press ok okay so there we go uh, this is the first coding option that it gives you okay uh, now we're gonna have to say this that is not present okay even though we do have um, we do have a spare wheel in there uh, it tells you in there that it should be not present anyway so it's just gonna tell him he's not present and we will allow it to do it the coding okay trailer coupling again that's not present there's no trailer, there's no coupling for the trailer, there's no hitch on this, there's nothing, there's literally no, no option for that installed on this.
Okay, press OK. Trailer folding, not folding, we'll just carry on. It's not even installed, so we'll just carry on. Tell him he's not there. Okay. Okay, so here is for the bulb technology. It tells you here roughly what you should set it at if you have any of these options. We don't have any of these options. The lights on this are um, normal. Uh, they are not uh, uh, normal incandescent bulbs, but they are like halogen lights. So that's what they, what, what they are. It's not standard, so we leave this as it is. Now, I messed some of this coding just to be able to take you through this. <coughs> Okay, press OK again. That's going to bring you to the next step. So, interior lamps, interior lamps uh, package, we'll have to set this as present. Okay, if we don't set this as present, I'm just going to quick show you. You see that light on the boot? Uh, so, that lamp, as you can see, is off at the moment. It should be on because all the other ones are on. So, that should be on at the moment. But because it's set to not present, uh, obviously, they will not come on. So, we're going to have to edit this. And tell them this lamp package is actually present okay and everything else at least for the UK here is all the same um, activations of the real so this is if you want the fog light to come on on the other side um, we don't because obviously if you have the steering on that side you want the fog light to come on on that side in this case we want it on this side so we can tell them no uh, version is maximum uh, if you go there and you have a look it'll tell you roughly which one is so as you can see, it's going to have to be that one, because it's the only option that makes sense. One touch turn signaling is for that uh, sort of one touch and it, it flashed three times. And then so we're going to put it as active and this should be OK. So we'll press transmit. So we'll send this to the control unit. And as you can see straight away, the light came back on. So that's done. Press OK here. Uh, that is actually a different thing here. We're going to have to select this uh, X164. Okay. Uh, vent windows. Oh, interesting. It shows me the vent windows now. I can't remember seeing this option before. Okay, anyway, it was press not present. Uh, so we'll transmit that as not present. Uh, none of this is present, so seat buckle belt switch, there's no switch on the belt to the back and easy entry, there's no easy entry, the steering column is manual, it's not electric, so press transmit, okay Okay, so the next function is not supported for some reason, I believe this is to do with the alarm and so there's some other one to do with something else uh, relays for seat adjustments, uh, it says it's present, so these seats are electric, so we're going to leave that as present. So we'll just do escape and this will take you to the next. If you don't want to do any change, you just press exit. Uh, flashes stopping lamp K11, it is indeed activated. I know the car has that option, so we'll press, just press cancel and we'll just skip that one. I don't know if there's any other, um, any other questions, I think this is the last one to be fair. Let me have a look. There is. Programming is finished. We'll press escape. And that's it, guys. That's how you program a module. As you can see, it's quite straightforward. They ask this, the questions he, he asks you for. Uh, quite simple stuff. Um, again, guys, you need to know a little bit about... Obviously, that module is faulty. So the lights at the back are now working right. Uh, even though the module is programmed correctly. Uh, the lights at the back are now working right. Uh, there is some other issues uh, with the boot as well. Um, anyway, doesn't really matter. Uh, this was purely 
educational just to show you how you go through the, the, the process. Just remember guys, if you have different options, uh, you might need to set up uh, to choose those options accordingly to your car. Um, you can use a VIN decoder uh, website, there's plenty online uh, to see which SA codes or which options you have. Uh, and that will give you the code number so you can compare with your car. I will always advise you to get into more than one website just in case if they are not 100% accurate. Um, but yeah, this is how it's done, guys. So I know it's not ideal. ideal. Ideally, I would be doing this on the new module. That was my initial plan. That didn't work out. Uh, and I ended up having to program the other module uh, without taking you through or without recording. Uh, but I just thought, again, to use the old module to take you through uh, the programming process. And that's how it's done, guys. So, with the Maxis, it, it is really straightforward. To be fair with you, using a Star is as straightforward as it is with the Maxis. This is not rocket science at all. Um, and again, guys, it, it, it gives you the automatic option to program the module. You can do that if you have the Maxis, if you have an active subscription. I don't, so I would have to do it manually, and I ended up having to do it manually even on the new module, on the module that's there on the side. Uh, I had to do everything manually, but um, but this is just what it is, guys. So, with no further ado, guys, we are going to wrap up this video. Uh, no a long one. Uh, was no point to make this any longer. Um, so I do hope you enjoyed the video guys. I uh, hope there's some information here you can find useful. Uh, and again, if you do have any questions, any comments, you know how it works, put them below. And like always, thanks for watching.